All right, all, like the title suggests. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to dedicate more of your system memory to your VRAM and your iGPU on the Gigabyte B550 MDS3H motherboard. If you're using the Gigabyte B550 MDS3H motherboard and you have an APU or a uh, processor that has an iGPU in it, you're most likely running the Ryzen 5 5600G or you're running the Ryzen 7 5700G. But is it actually worth the time to actually go in and dedicate more VRAM to these iGPUs and these CPUs? That's something else we're gonna cover in today's video. So let me flip you over here and we'll show you how to get more VRAM dedicated to that iGPU. All right, um, before we get into the BIOS, I wanna show you how much VRAM this motherboard is showing is available. See how much VRAM is dedicated to your GPU? You go down here to your taskbar down here. You right click, go up to task manager, go over to performance, go down to GPU down here. Scroll down here, which just shows right here as well, dedicated GPU memory. It's dedicated 512 megabytes. And down here also tells you dedicated GPU memory is 512 megabytes. But in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to get that up to two gigabytes and see if it actually does any better for your gaming performance or not. So to get started on how to do this, go down here to Windows, go up here to your power button, go to your restart button, and start tapping the delete key. All right, here we are inside the BIOS. As you can see up here on the left hand corner, it is the B550 MTS3H motherboard. The BIOS version is F13G, and we are using AMD Ryzen. 5 5600G with Radeon graphics. We do have 16 gigabytes of RAM and we don't even have XMP enabled on it. We'll go ahead and enable XMP because it is an iGPU and the iGPU uses the system memory for its VRAM. And the faster we can get them speeds up to on the system memory, the better it's going to be for the my gpe performances so we definitely want that running at the 3600 megahertz xmp profile go over here to advanced mode or you can push f2 on your motherboard on your keyboard and this one's a little bit strange with how you dedicate more ram to your vram because most likely most of the time it's under this tweaker well in this bios it's a little bit different you go underneath the settings, you go into I.O. ports, okay, down here it says integrated graphics, it's on auto, double click on auto, put it down to forces, double click on it, this UMA mode, double click on, double click on that where it says auto, you put UMA specified, Okay, and then down here, then it pops this down as well. It says UMA frame buffer size. It's set on auto. That's why we have 512 megabytes of VRAM right now. You double click on the auto. And you can see there's a lot of different settings. It, it has it set at 512 megabytes. We have 64 megabytes. We have 80 megabytes, 96 megabytes, 128 megabytes, 256 megabytes, 384 megabytes. 512 megabytes, which for some reason auto usually sets it at 512 like I showed you. Then you have 768 megabytes. Then you have one gigabyte and you have two gigabytes. So you just go down here and you double click on two gigabyte, which right there pops it up, it's two gigabytes. Come up here to save and exit. You hit save and exit setup. And it confirms everything that you did. We did do the integrated graphics from auto to force. We went UMA mode from auto to UMA specified. We went UMA frame buffer size from auto to two gigs. And you hit yes. And at this point, the system will re reboot. And when it does, it'll take you back to the desktop. All right, here we are back on the desktop now. And just like last time, you go down your taskbar, down here to your bottom bar, 
You left click, go up to task manager, go up to performance, come down to your GPU, and right there, dedicated GPU memory is two gigabytes. Scroll down here a little bit, and it says right here, dedicated GPU memory is two gigabytes. This is an APU. So you do have to remember that up here, if this is your system memory, since you dedicated two gigs of RAM to your iGPU, it does take away from your available system memory. So is it really worth the trade off or not? I guess the test will prove it, right? Let me run some benchmarks and some tests on this and uh, I'll be back and see if it makes them, uh, any difference or not. All right, all. That's the way you dedicate more of your system memory for your VRAM on these iGPUs on the Gigabyte B550 MDS3H motherboard. But now what is the actual benefit of doing so? Or is there any benefit of doing so? Well, I'm gonna flip you over here and I'm gonna show you some benchmark numbers here and show you what kind of performance change you can get by dedicating two gigs of VRAM instead of letting the system dedicate five meg 500 megabits of VRAM for your graphics. All right, all, and over here on the left-hand side over here, we're gonna be looking at the stock numbers. And over here on the right is gonna be the new numbers with the two gigabyte of VRAM. All these games are ran at the same exact settings, all within a day apart from each other. So what, you know, I mean, I kept them as close as I can, kept them as fair as I possibly could, you know, the Apex Legends, CSGO, Fortnite, you know, them's going to vary depending on the areas you're in, how many people's on there, how much fighting's in the scenes, and all that. You know, there's a lot of variables to it. But we did we did see some improvements, and we've seen some of them that just kind of made me scratch my head as well. Because here on Apex Legends, up here at the very top, the average is about the same. Uh, the minimum we did get a little bit better minimums. Uh, the max is about the same very well close to it. The one percent low actually got a good bit better out of it and the one tenth low has actually got a good bit better out of it. So you actually didn't see a better average in Apex Legend with this but you did see a better one percent low and one tenth percent low which means that kind of cuts out the stuttering and whatnot in the game a little bit better. Gives you a little bit better frame pacing. Okay CSGO at the average, at stock was 85.3, and at the two gigs, of, two gigs of VRAM, we was looking at 90.6. That's that ain't bad. Uh, the minimum was 52.3, and the minimum at two gigs was uh, 56.8. The maximum was 384.1 on stock. Maximum was 369.8 which was actually a little bit down on the maximum. 1% low frame rate is 55.2, and the 1% low, 61.3, so them came up. That's pretty well indicative of what Apex Legends was doing. The 1 percentile low, 41.6 compared to 51.1. Again, you did, on this one, you did see a little bit of an increase on your average, but the main thing, with, the main thing you've seen the increases on was the bottom, which was the one percent low, and the one one tenth percent low. Uh, Borderlands Three, we went from average from fifty eight point four up to sixty point seven. Minimum was forty nine point one, went up to fifty one point four. The maximum was seventy three point four. The new maximum was seventy six point three. One percent was forty eight point one. The new 1% was 50.4. Well, the one-tenth low was seven, and the new was 7.4. Again, you see a little bit of an increase on your maximum, or a little bit of an increase on your average, but the main thing it seems like it's improving the most on is the 1% lows, and the one-tenth percent lows. Uh, on Fortnite, we had the average, it used to be 193.8, and now it's up to 207.5. The minimum was 0.8, and now that's up to 82.5. That's a big increase there. Uh, maximum was 508, and now the new is down to 4.25. 1% 1 
low was 78.1 and now it, the one percent low is 53.7 the one one tenth percent was 0.8 and now it's up to 22.4 and again it just seems like the more vram that you have and most of these what what i've got here what i've tested seems like it just pretty well more smooths the game out instead of really affecting the averages or the maximums but of course everybody likes to smooth gameplay um well might as well do heaven while we're sitting here heaven we had an uh, old average of 35.6 it's now 35.2 which went down a little bit the minimum was 24.0 and the new minimum is 22.9 the maximum was 74.3 now it's down to 73.9 one percent low was 24.2 and now it's 22.9 one tenth the low was 21.4 and it's now down to 20.7 i noticed when i was running heaven benchmark though that it still wasn't using more than about 700 megabytes of ram even though we had two gigabit allocated to just the vram so it's actually worth taking a few minutes like i showed you it don't take very long to go in and dedicate more vram to the igps and these apus i think it is it's free it don't cost you nothing you don't have to upgrade your cooling. You don't have to deal with better RAM. You don't have to deal with nothing, none, none of that stuff. It is completely free. Just a few moments of your time, which I showed you, you know, within a minute to a couple minutes, you can have it upgraded. And it does smooth out the gameplay a lot. It takes out a lot of the glitches and whatnot. But I think the main performance, if you really want to get main performance gains out of this iGPUs, of course, I believe it's going to be overclocking the iGPUs. Which that will be coming up on the channel too. I'm doing a video on how to overclock the iGPUs in this processor as well. And then I'll probably do some tests once I get it overclocked to see see how different RAM configurations work with it. You know, as far as how much VRAM you should dedicate to your video card or your iGPU in these. If you like this kind of content, go down there and give me a thumbs up. If not, there's that thumbs down button. There's also a comment section below i go through them every weekend here on saturday morning 11 o'clock eastern standard time in the u.s on my live stream and also don't forget that red subscribe button while you're down there turn on that notification bell where you're notified next time i put out a video or I go live here on youtube if you go down check in the description below there is links to instagram and twitter i don't kill your inbox but i do put up photos of new stuff i have coming in kind of keep you up with what's coming up on the channel or if there's any information about my live stream if i got cancer or change the date or time up where you also get that information with all that being said you all have a good day and i'll see you in the next video or live stream